Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh. So students, in the series of providing most important questions, in the series of marathon, uh, this is the second class. Is this, this is the second session in the marathon series for IBPS, RRB, GBO, Scale 2 and Scale 3. Let's start the session. My name is Ramandeep Singh. And in these sessions, right now, I am covering various laws. Laws are really, really important. Yesterday we did negotiable instruments. Very important. Please check the, the first session that we did. And today we are going to do a mixture of questions from IBC, from surf IC, and maybe some Banking Regulation Act questions, right? So uh, my name is Ramandeep Singh and I've been teaching on bank exam study from last 12 years now. Okay. This is my WhatsApp number. Really easy to reach me. Just drop me a message. I'll answer you whenever I'm free. Okay. IBPS RRB scale to scale three course, you can get a 30 days pass. It's available on bankexamstudy.com. You'll get access to video classes, superset, power capsule, notes, test series, live sessions, and interview preparation guidance. Everything is available on bankexamstudy.com. Please check. The insolvency and bankruptcy code, the IBC 2016, that's what they, it is known as IBC 2016 has adopted creditor in control creditor in control model for corporate insolvency resolution process let me just hide myself so that you can read it properly so if you book a flat with a real estate company and the company enters into the CIRP students if you are doing the IBC ka class right uh, just go to the FA section financial awareness section I always recommend my students to go through the conceptual classes. Students kya kar rahe hai? Wo just MCQs karte hai. Uh, it's good for revision. Some of the questions are repeated in the exam, but conceptual understanding is important. If you do not know the difference between CIRP and PPRP, right? Pre-package insolvency resolution process. Iska difference nahi jante hai, toh it's difficult. If uh, 10 lakhs se leke 1 crore tak ka agar default hai, then uh, PPIRP pre-package insolvency resolution procedure is followed. If it is more than 1 crore, if it is the default is more than 1 crore rupees, then CIRP is followed. So you need to notice, right, procedure in ke alag alag hai, PPIRP mein, uh, the owner, the borrower, have that person initiates the whole process. CIRP may even financial creditors can initiate as well. So, there are differences in the process. Mein difference hai. PPIRP may have homework karke jana vadta hai. resolution professional ko pehle hire karna vadta hai process. Se. Uh, kafi quick process hai. CIRP is a lengthy process. Hai. Uh, the course in FA ki class in the detail. Mein hai. Even YouTube mein IBC ki class. Hai so uh, the person who books a flat ये थोड़ा सा confusing सा question है uh, the person he's an operational creditor kind of okay a creditor can initiate ये बहुत ही important question है limits you should know the limits आपको CIRP CIRP corporate insolvency resolution procedure process or PPIRP pre package insolvency resolution process ये, this was an amendment. This was in the budget, I guess, 2021. Mein. So, a creditor can initiate pre-packaged uh, insolvency resolution process when the debtor company has defaulted at least 10 lakh rupees. 10 lakhs minimum, minimum 10 lakhs and 1 crore, rupees 1 crore. This is the maximum limit, okay? So, after that, CIRP aap use karo after, after 1 crore rupees, if there is a crore se bada default, hai, to corporate insolvency resolution process lagega. So C is the answer students. I hope that is clear to you. Who regulates the insolvency professionals? This is uh, insolvency and bankruptcy board in India. So they also conduct the proper exams. Uh, exam conduct karwate uh, for insolvency professionals. So when the CIRP, uh, you know, or the PPRP initiates its procedure, the insolvency professionals step into the shoes of board of directors. So, they take the assets so that the existing existing board of directors confiscate the assets, not theft the assets. 
so the uh, the insolvency professional he takes over the assets of the company of the of the liquidating company so ibbi is a monitoring agency of insolvency professional insolvency professional certification lete hain in ibbi se exam dete hain certification lete hain okay the power of board of directors of a company undergoing corporate insolvency resolution process is exercised by whom it is exercised by the resolution pro professional so resolution professional he takes over the asset of the in, uh, liquidating company jab ek company liquidate ho rahi hai to uske sare assets pe resolution uh, professional hai he takes over those assets otherwise jo company liquidate ho rahi hai wo assets bechna shuru kar denge right so the in the resolution professional he takes over the company who among the following has the highest priority in sale or uh, sale proceeds of liquidating uh, a company so in case of a liquidation jab a company bik rahi hai uske assets ko becha ja raha hai to recover the the dues of a bank or a finance uh, financial company जब पूरे एसेट्स को बेचा जाता है तो सबसे पहले पैसे किए से दिए जाते हैं वर्कमैन एंड द एम्प्लॉयज सो इन दोनों को सबसे पहले पैसे दिए जाते हैं बाद में टैक्स एंड ऑल वो बाद में सबसे पहले वर्कमैन एंड द एम्प्लॉयज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फाइनेंशियल सर्विस प्रोवाइडर्स हैव नॉट अंडर गॉन सी आई आर पी प्रोसीजर्स अंडर द आई बी सी ट्वेंटी सिक्सटीन सो दीवान हाउसिंग एस आर ई आई इक्वमेंट फाइनेंस लिमिटेड रिलायंस कैपिटल ऑल दॉज हैव गॉन अंडर द आई बी सी येस बैंक का आई बी सी कोई कॉरपोरेट इंसॉल्वेंसी रेजोल्यूशन प्रोसेस नहीं हुआ है बाकी सबका हुआ है अ कमेटी ऑफ क्रेडिटर्स इंक्लूड्स ऑल द फाइनेंशियल क्रेडिटर्स ऑपरेशनल क्रेडिटर्स नहीं इंक्लूड होते हैं कमेटी ऑफ क्रेडिटर्स में फाइनेंशियल क्रेडिटर्स लाइक स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया एंड ऑल द एन बी एफ सीज तो दीज आर द फाइनेंशियल क्रेडिटर्स ऑपरेशनल क्रेडिटर्स इंक्लूडेड नहीं है जो ट्रेड में आपने कोई लोन लिया है दैट इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड let's move forward no individual shall be enrolled as professional member if he is eligible to be registered as an insolvency professional with the board proper exam dena padega exam ko crack karna padega and then you will get the certification and ibbi is conducting those exams okay let's move forward within how many days a liquidator shall distribute the proceeds from realization from receipt of the amount to the stakeholders jab asset bech diye hain kitne din ke andar andar un assets ki proceeds ko distribute karna hai within 90 days you have to distribute it 90 din ke andar andar aapko sare jo hai paise dene padenge aapke jo bhi stakeholders hain jinko paise milne hain within 90 days you need to distribute it and which amendment now we started the banking regulation act ibc ho ho gaya hai kafi kafi questions acche kar liye hain but still i would say ki aap conceptual class zarur dekhen ibc ki tabhi acha coverage hoga isme pre packaged ka aur uh, insolvency resolution professional ka difference ek bahut important point hai uske liye shayad main ek alag se class karunga maybe tomorrow the difference between the the pprp and cirp uska ek proper class karenge सो आई नोट डाउन एंड वो हम करेंगे डोंट वरी कल करेंगे विच अमेंडमेंट टू बैंकिंग रेगुलेशन एक्ट 1949 फोर्टी नाइन इंक्रीजेज द आर बी एज पावर टू इंस्पेक्ट द बुक्स ऑफ अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक सो रिसेंटली अमेंडमेंट हुआ था इट्स बी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी में अमेंडमेंट हुआ था बैंकिंग रेगुलेशन एक्ट में जिसने आर बी आई की पावर्स बढ़ा दी हैं अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक आर बी आई के अंडर आ गया है नाउ इट इज अंडर आर बी आई एक्ट ओके आर बी आई के आर बी आई भी उसकी गाइडलाइंस इशू करता है the maximum amount of penalty that rbi can impose under section 47a of banking regulation act it is d 10 crore is the maximum penalty then rbi can levy on any financial institution any regulated entity okay which amendment to banking regulation act 1949 introduced the concept of pca the prompt corrective action bahut sare banko pe lagta hai jab unki financial situation achhi nahi hoti so the correct answer is a the banking regulation act amendment act 2017 okay and what is the main purpose of pca framework to facilitate the growth of weak banks to identify their weak banks basically and prevent their failure so bahut sare actions liye jate hain unko aur branches branches open karne ke liye uh, nahi kar kar sakte right 
कोई मैनेजमेंट में चेंज करना है तो बहुत सारे उस पर जो हैं कंडीशंस लगा दिए जाते हैं सो दैट इज व्हाट द प्रॉम करेक्टिव एक्शन इज अंडर विच लॉज डू अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक्स कम अंडर द रेगुलेटरी एम्बिट ऑफ आरबीआई सो इट इज सी बोथ बैंकिंग रेगुलेशन एक्ट एंड द कोऑपरेटिव लॉ सोसाइटी राइट द बैंकिंग लॉज कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटी एक्ट नाइनटीन सो अंडर बो दीज एक्ट अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक्स आर देयर सो आर बी भी गाइडलाइंस इशू करता है इसके लिए अंडर विच लॉज अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक्स कम अंडर आई ऑलरेडी टोल यू सी विद रेफरेंस टू द बैंकिंग रेगुलेशन एक्ट विच आर द फॉलोइंग आर एक्सक्लूसिवली रेगुलेटेड बाय आर बी आई एक्सक्लूसिवली मतलब कोई और इसको नहीं रेगुलेट करता सो इट्स ई E is the correct answer. Two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. Urban cooperative banks. Ka I already told you. It's not just RBI. It is Banking Laws Cooperative Societies Act as well. So it is not exclusive. <coughs> Even rural banks ka ek exclusive nahi exclusively nahi RBI regulate karta. Okay. <coughs> so for rural banks, there is Regional Rural Banks Act, nineteen seventy six. What is the role of Banking Regulation Act 1949 in promoting the financial stability in India? Basically, it's a bank of the rural uh, areas, right? Of the farmers, it's also known as a bank of farmers. Anadatta ke bank hai ye. So the correct answer is the Act sets standards for banks to ensure they are financially stable and sound. Okay. So there are various standards which ensures the financial stability of the bank. Okay. How does Bank uh, Banking Regulation Act 1949 addresses the issue of NPAs? So uh, the this acts basically require the banks to classify and disclose the NPA and proper बताया है कितनी provision रखनी है and everything. So proper classification is required. Uh, is it doubtful? It is uh, totally failed assets, lost assets, and कितनी provision रखनी है? तो ये सारा clearly mentioned है Banking Regulation Act में. Which amendment to Banking Regulation Act introduced the concept of NPA? It was introduced in 1991. NPA का concept non-performing asset का जो concept है, it came in in the in light in 1991. Okay. नब्बे दिन से ज़्यादा कोई भी loan की जो है installments अगर नहीं आ रही है, तो that becomes a NPA, non-performing asset. What is the purpose of CRR under Banking Regulation Act? Its purpose is what? Its purpose is to ensure that the bank maintains certain level of cash reserves to meet the demand of the customers. Okay. Uh, so that is the cash reserve ratio. The bank maintains certain cash level to meet the demands of customers. Uh, so which amendment to Banking Regulation Act introduced the concept of asset reconstruction companies? It came into light in. Uh, 2002 Banking Regulation Act Amendment Act 2002. So which amendment to is ये आपको याद ही करने पड़ेंगे सारी amendments yes आ जाते हैं exam में. So DICGC जो deposit insurance मिलती है आपको पांच लाख रुपए तक की. So that came into picture in 1968. 1968 में ये amendment आई थी. So DICGC उस time पे बना था 1968 में. Which amendment to Banking Regulation Act Introduce the provision of priori priority sector lending for banks. So it was it came in 1983. So you need to remember the years. Ah, this is rather. I don't remember. But you have to do that because you need to appear for the exam. Uh, next question: What is the maximum percentage of paid-up capital and reserves that a banking company can hold in a company as per Section 20? Maximum paid-up capital. Kisi company ka maximum? Ah, uh, which is D. 30 परसेंट तक होल्ड कर सकते हैं किसी भी कंपनी का इससे ज़्यादा एक बैंक किसी दूसरी कंपनी का होल्ड नहीं कर सकता है ठीक है बिकॉज इट्स नॉट द बिजनेस ऑफ अ बैंक बैंकिंग कंपनी का वो बिजनेस नहीं इन्वेस्ट करना इज़ नॉट अ बिजनेस हाउ डज बैंकिंग रेगुलेशन एक्ट नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन एड्रेस द इशू ऑफ कॉरपोरेट गवर्नेंस इन बैंक सो ऑल दीज आर देयर द एक्ट रिक्वायर्स बैंक टू हैव इंडिपेंडेंट डायरेक्टर्स इंडिपेंडेंट डायरेक्टर्स हैं RBI it allows RBI to appoint directors to uh, to the board of uh, the bank. The Act uh, sets standard for qualification and experience of bank directors. The Act requires banks to establish audit committees to oversee financial reporting. So all these uh, you know uh, things, I mean, they add up. It's better for the financial security and the stability of the bank. 
Under Banking Regulation Act 1949, what is the maximum percentage of voting right that can be held by any individual in a banking company? D is the correct answer. 26 percent is the maximum voting power that one person can have in a banking company. Nothing more than that. Okay, that's the maximum right uh, one individual can have in the voting of a uh, of a company, right? Of a banking company. Which of the following is not a business? Uh, in which banking companies can engage as per section 6 of the Banking Regulation Act dealing in uh, stock ex uh, stock exchange securities because uh, see what is the job of a bank the bank they they get your deposits general public's deposits but if the bank get into trading and they lose money they won't be able to repay the depositors the honest depositors aam janta ke paise doob jayenge share market mein right that is the thing that is why it is prohibited for the banks to deal in stock exchange securities wo nahi kar sakte foreign exchange they can buy and sell because that is the business people buy forex cards so they need to you know uh, buy the us dollars they need to sell us dollars and all all other currencies right they need to issue letter of credit traveler checks circular notes they need to act as agent, agents for government at the local authorities uh, they they undertake and execute trust. So all these are part of, of the business of a bank. But dealing in stock exchange securities, they can be you know uh, they can act as a distributor, but they can never act as a you know they can never themselves uh, deal in stock market. Which of the following is not? restriction or prohibition imposed by banking regulation act 1949 on banking companies engaging in trading activities it's it's basically i mean uh, this is a restriction right uh, all these uh, this is i mean not allowed holding a immovable property this is actually not allowed opening uh, new branches uh, you know i mean accepting deposit from foreign governments i mean that's accepting is not a restriction prohibition by the banking rest of them baki sab pe restriction hai but yahan pe koi restriction nahi hai this is this is not i mean opening a new branches they need a proper uh, permission from rbi although there are certain uh, you know points where uh, general acceptance is there but most of the times proper uh, you know permission is required from rbi prior approval of rbi is required banking companies are prohibited from granted uh, granting loans to their own directors apne directors ko loan nahi de sakte which of the following is not a statutory uh, requirement prescribed by the banking regulation act maintaining a minimum paid up capital it is already there uh, cash reserve ratio slr capital adequacy ratio is there but minimum net worth ka koi aisa as such guideline hai nahi hai right which of the following is uh, is a SLR as prescribed by section 24 is the correct answer the ratio of liquid asset to the total demand and time liabilities okay so total time liabilities jo hai aapki logon ke paise dene hai uske kitna percentage cash ya cash equivalent mein hona chahiye which of the following is not a function of banking ombudsman as per the banking regulation act so basically banking ombudsman mein ab apni complaint lekar jate hain depositors right so investigate the complaints this uh, ye karte hai, uh, complaint ko investigate karte hai, mediate between banks and the customers adjudicate the uh, disputes between banks and the customer bank license dena banking ombudsman ka kaam nahi hai which of the following is not a type of banking company under the banking regulation act public private bank to hai cooperative banks bhi investment bank aisa kuch nahi investment bank ka license rbi nahi deta na rbi has ko manage karta hai theek hai which of the following is not a provision under the Banking Regulation Act 1949 regarding the appointment of directors of bank. Uh, so bank ki uh, directors ki appointment ko leke there is a proper RBI guideline. I hope uh, you have already gone through that in the course. So for the appointment of directors, I would highly recommend that you have circular padhe. Wo pichle saal exam mein bhi hai, okay? So no person can be a director of a bank for more than seven years, six years. Uh, it provides that but actually this is eight years. Art saal se zyada koi nahi rae sakta. So this one is actually this is not a provision. A should be the correct answer. Most probably yes, A is the correct answer. It provides that at least 51% of the total number of members of the board must possess a special knowledge or the practical experience 
an RBI can remove any director if it deems it fit. The appointment of directors must be approved by the shareholder of the banks. So all of the that are correct except the first option which is false. Okay. So students, IBPS RRB scale two, scale three, GBO 2023 course. You can take a 30 days plan on bankexamstudy.com. You'll be getting access to video classes, the notes, quizzes, test series, power capsules, superset. Everything is part of the course. So in this last 10 days, you can you know uh, supercharge your uh, preparation, right? So this can you know impact your prospects of getting final selection. List of our successful students in the past, all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked the respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them. You can be one of them in the future. And that's all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.